Boom. What is up, Wanders? We are back with another One Take Bag Review and check it out. Today we are talking about another bag from 511. This is the Moab 6, which is a, a, an 11 liter sling bag designed for concealed carry and kind of a, to be a go bag for you, a little bug out bag. It, it is about the size of and a competitor for the Maxpedition Versapack, uh, but uh, it's a very different carry. And so I'm excited to walk through this bag with you. It was a very surprising little bag for me to review. Remember, with 511, with their Rush series, the number after the bag stands for how many hours they think this bag will get you. So this is the Moab 6 and it is designed to be about six hours worth of stuff in a go bag. Um, they have a 12, a 24, a 48, a 72, a 128. I don't think they actually have some of those large ones, but you get the point, right? How long will this bag get you without a refill or a reload or additional supplies? So this is a half day bag um, and it is really an interesting form factor. Look at this, it's a cube. We don't see a lot of bags that are cube shaped. Huh. So let's talk about it. Is this a bag that you want to add to your lineup? Well, that's what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews and we're going to look at the outside of this bag. We're going to look at the inside of this bag, all the nooks and crannies. At the end, we're going to talk about two things that we love about this bag, two things, not so much. And then an overall recommendation. Should you buy the Rush Moab 6 tactical sling bag? Well, let's get into it. All right, so as you can see on the front of this bag, this is kind of a normal tactical look for a 511 or a Maxpedition product or many of the knockoffs out there of this, of this company. And you know, what do you see? You see a little tasteful 511 logo in the bottom corner here. You see Molly panels, hook and loop um, on the front. Um, I don't do a lot of attachments of pouches and bottle holders and things, but certainly you can do that. You have molly panels up front, four different rows of molly panels. On the side here, you have three rows on this side, excuse me, four rows on this side, four rows on this side, uh, double, double loops. And then you have a really well built out grab handle here. It's not cushioned, but it's extra reinforced with like quadruple stitching. Um, feels like it's going to last, no problem at all. Um, and then when you come to the back here, we're going to get to pockets in a minute, I promise. You've got a little bit of cushioning. And, and I, I would just say it's a little bit of cushioning. Don't expect a ton. You do have a nice strap here. And we're going to talk about the strap, but it's really interesting. You've got a padded section here with the little cell phone pocket on it. And then you've got a padded section on the strap itself. Uh, and then it is a kind of switchable, easily reversible left or right shoulder carry bag. You just um, unthread the strap and then thread it into the other side if you want to carry it on the opposite side. So that's always welcome. All right. So let's get into the pockets here because there is a lot going on with the pockets. We'll start up front here. These have kind of plastic zipper pulls on them. They do work really well, despite the fact that they are kind of covered up by the canvas here. Um, all right, so when you open up this front panel, what do you have? You have an admin section on the inside with uh, two pin holders, a little pocket knife size holder, two um, little pockets on the front. I've got my hero clip in here. I've got my pocket knife in here. And then a back panel here. I've got my little wallet. And then on the front side, you've got two mag-sized holders. Um, I don't do concealed carry, so I've put in my little first aid kit into these pockets. And that's how I've used this front section here. All right. Uh, I did, by the way, on the front, include pins and my little pin light and a little bonus lightning cable clipped to the molly panels. So that's the inside. You've got some clip attachment points and uh, really overall you've got two pin holders, uh, you know, a multi-tool size pouch, two smaller, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, eight overall pockets. And then of course you could just use the entire pouch as a drop pocket. So very useful admin pocket on the inside there. And then you have a hidden section, okay? So if you do concealed carry, this is where you would put your Velcro holster and slide your gun down into it for easy access. We don't, but you can see that just rips apart there. And I've got my battery back up in there and a cord, which I took out a little bit ago, but easy to get to. And if you are using it like me for tech, you can leave the cord in the bottom and just run the cord out of, the, of this and just kind of have exterior access easily to a power cord. Boom. All right. Now let's dig into the main compartment. Now, a surprise to me, when I ordered this bag, I didn't know that the whole thing clamshelled on the interior compartment. That was really welcome. Uh, and it made it even, I think, a more useful bag because you can drop it down, flip it all the way open, and you could you know, conceivably have a couple of little pouches in here as well that are easy to get to. Um, but there's a lot of room in the sling. It's remember 11 liters, so it's deceptively small. The form factor is tiny, but because it's a cube and it has depth, and good dimension, lots of space. So at the uh, front pocket first, you have two mesh compartments. I've got some cords in there. And then down at the bottom, I've got some tech, tech accessories, SD cards, a little foldable tripod, but very useful little pockets. I, I think you should be aware that the more you put into this kind of hidden Velcro pocket right here, the more it makes it hard to get things into, especially this bottom pocket here, which is pretty tight. The upper mesh one has some flex to it, but just be aware. I think if there was a gun in here, it would stretch this one to the point of only like dropping very thin items into the pocket. So be aware of that. On the back side, I've got my gimbal with tripod. You could get a lot in here and there is a little, I'm showing you at the bottom there, a little grommet to let uh, exterior, uh, to, to drain off any water, uh, anything that got wet into your bag, L give it a drain point. Um, and then in the back, you've got a little, you know, I think you could use this for hydration. You could use this for a lot. I was delighted to find that it worked as a tablet sleeve. So you, you can use this back section as a tablet sleeve and this is an 11 inch iPad Pro with a magic keyboard on. And honestly, it fits like a dream. Now I've got to say, <coughs> there's not a lot of padding, okay? So just be aware that if you're gonna use this as a tablet bag, like I am, then you may want to slip, and this is just a, a hack for you, take a thick winter comfy sock and put it at the bottom of this, and then poof, you've got a padded tablet sleeve. So any of your bags that weren't necessarily designed for tech, you can drop you know, a cut up old t-shirt, uh, a thick sock into the bottom, and you know nobody will ever know, and you've got then a suspended cushioned tablet sleeve, okay? All right, so we will close this up, and we will look at the next pocket. There's a little hidden pocket up behind the handle here, and this is for your sunglasses. I don't wear sunglasses, but I do always have my blue light blocking glasses. And I put my AirPods in there, and I put, boom, my mustache comb. If you're wondering, this is the Colonel Ichabod mustache comb. I'll link it on Amazon. It is the only one that I ever use, um, which sounds absurd to those of you who do not grow a mustache, but a necessity. All right. This is a little cell phone pocket. Now, I don't carry my cell phone in a cell phone pocket, but did toss my keys in there and a little wallet from Recycled Firefighter. Useful little pocket. Um, not a lot to say about it. Zips up, it's got one Velcro kind of slip point where I slid the wallet in and you can put your cell phone in there very easily. All right, let's talk about how this, oh, before we do that, there is one more pocket, silly me. Look at this, you've got another back pocket back here and I tossed in a little gaming device for on the go and my Leatherman. You could toss in a lot back here and there's room 
for a little pouch back there too. You could very easily put a med kit back there. Um, lots of stuff would fit back in that pocket very easily. There is no exit for like a hydration port there or anything like that though. All right, so let's talk about this bag. That's how you wear it. And it can hang down even lower than you see with no issues. Uh, this is kind of how I found it to be most comfortable, kind of riding mid back there. You can unclip this very quickly for a quick release. When you sling this bag around from the back to the front, you should be aware that there are no pockets that are specifically designed. Even the concealed carry is from the right. Now, that's useful if you are using it for a concealed carry. Let's use my gimbal. Okay, so if I had my, gim my, my weapon in here and I swing it around, then I would rip out and surprise, I'm taking a video. I'm not shooting people, I'm taking a video. But for those of you who do carry for self-defense, boom, easy to pull out from that side. All right, let's talk about this thing. So, two things we really like about this bag. The first thing that I really like about this bag is actually the form factor. I tried and I couldn't think of another cube shaped bag that wasn't just a packing cube. You know, it is, it's kind of a weird, like the first three or four times you wear this bag, it's gonna feel uncomfortable because you're used to everything being either bullet shaped or, you know, rectangular shaped. Either long like a messenger bag, tall like a backpack or a crossbody sling, wide like a fanny pack. Nothing's a square, nothing but this bag. It's a really useful dimension and shape, okay? And so if this was shorter, then I couldn't fit a tablet into it. If it was longer, it'd be too much bag. So I was delighted with kind of how this played out. They do have a taller version of 511 slings that if you want something bigger for a laptop, etc., I'll put a link to my review of my favorite, the LV-10, um, but yeah, so the shape of the bag, I really enjoy. And I've got to say, the layout of the pockets is the second thing that I really enjoy. I liked this bag more than I thought I would. And it is much more useful than I initially expected it to be. I got a lot more into it. I mean, this is my daily carry. And I use much bigger bags than this usually to carry my daily carry. I've got my gimbal, I've got my iPad, I've got all my accessories. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything I was leaving behind and there was still more space to throw in, you know, little devices that I don't necessarily bring with me every day. I love this little quick access pocket with the hook and loop. I think that's really good. It's a great little bag. What's two things that we would change about this bag? Well. The first thing that I would change about this bag is on the inside of this first compartment, these two pockets aren't as good as I would like them to be. Visually, I love how they look. Um, but again, there's no extra dimension to these really. And so if you really load out the front section here with anything that has shape to it, it does make these pockets a little bit harder to use. So be aware of that. I wish they had a little bit more dimension to them. It would be more useful. The second thing is, I wish that you know this really was built out as a tablet pocket, um, not just a kind of anything pocket. A little bit of extra padding there would make a world of difference and it would really open this up to be an incredible tech bag. It's almost like I wish they would do a tech version of this bag where maybe the hook and loop was replaced with some magnets and maybe some uh, different material for the pockets. Maybe get rid of the mag pouches up front and toss in some uh, zippered closures. Yeah, but overall, incredibly useful bag. What does this sell for? Usually around 80 bucks. I picked this up on the secondhand market, believe it or not, for $25. You can find these things used pretty easily. Um, 
but $80 seems like a pretty good price point for this. Most good crossbody fanny packs are gonna run you, you know, in the $50 range, and so you're paying a little bit more for the functionality here of this crossbody bag. Uh, you do get all the attachment points, of course. You get to personalize it because it is a tactical bag. Uh, the look may not be for everybody in this Coyote, but the black one does kind of lose a little bit of the tactical feel that the Olive and the Coyote have. Uh, yeah, so overall recommendation for this bag. I think you'll love it. I think it's gonna be a, an incredibly useful bag. I will tell you, the one thing you're gonna have to get used to is this sling setup here, the, the handle um, and the, the strap itself, not as intuitive as you would think at first. Because when I first got this bag, I thought that this cell phone pocket needed to sit up on my shoulder like this. So I tightened it up and then that put this strap riding low. And then I figured out that the bag performs at its best if I let the whole thing ride much lower than seems natural at first, use the shoulder strap as the shoulder strap and allow this to, instead of sitting on your shoulder, you know, with this facing that way, let the whole thing hang down with the cell phone pocket sitting there and then this is over your shoulder. Then the bag started to feel right. So it, it wasn't exactly intuitive for me at first, if I'm being honest, and I think that's just the square shape of the bag, um, which did take some getting used to, but ultimately I fell in love with. If you're gonna use it as a tablet carry, stick a little sock in the bottom there, give yourself some cushioning for your beloved iPad. But overall, guys, a really fun bag. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like the video. If you're new here, please subscribe. And as always, everybody, thanks so much for supporting the channel. And I hope you enjoyed this review of the 511 Moab Rush 6 Tactical Sling, 11 liter, all the words. Thanks so much, you guys. We will see you next time. Bye for now.